It just reminds me of what you told me earlier in the conversation about your first job at Oracle and how your manager pulled you aside, told you that what you actually wanted was influence. And then you went mm -hmm. to that meeting not long after with the seven, uh, seven foot printout of the architecture that's that you right. presented after the screens. Yeah. Now, to me, that right. sounds like you were exercising some statecraft with a healthy dose of naivety as to what the impact yes. of that might, might have been. Oh, for sure. I had no idea what I was doing. It was a very <laughs> high risk um, move. It was quite a gamble on my part. But luckily, things kind of worked out. So I have done other situations where uh, I actually printed out a whole uh, set of screens. I just kind of mocked up a bunch of like crazy ideas, printed out a big poster, put it up next to my, my, my cubicle. And uh, that was not well received by my supervisor at the time. So you, you got to know when to kind of flex that, that capability, that skill. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. It's all, all good, as I said, talking about best case scenario, but are there, other than what you've just said, are there any situations that you've experienced where you've been burned from trying to exercise statecraft in a, in, in a way that wasn't well received? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mainly because I did not prepare enough on my own or prepare the people who were involved. I remember back at Citrix, I forget the actual topic of the workshop. Um, we were trying to drive some kind of workshop thing. And I just went ahead and kind of emailed a bunch of people and tried to set everything up. And there was quite a bit of uh, uh, pushback uh, and resistance to that effort. And it just never happened. It just never materialized. I don't think I suffered any harm from it, um, but it was a little bit of a bummer. Uh, especially since uh, I did reach out to some fairly high level people in the organization. And then I'm just trying to think e even more recently, well, this was only because we shifted into the pa pandemic mode, so everything went to Zoom. And so we originally were trying to do a workshop in person and suddenly we had to shift to a whole new mode. And that was a bumpy start, uh, at least trying to get some stakeholders who, again, not aligned, different KPIs, different kind of motivators and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't really have enough time to do that one-on-one, -on -one, hey, let's get coffee, let's chat before I set up this big workshop for everybody. Because the point of that workshop, by the time you're there, everyone should already have a little bit of an inkling of what's about to happen and feel pretty good about what we're going to do. And this one got, uh, we actually, things worked out somehow, miraculously, but uh, it took a, a little bit of uh, some bumpy uh, twists and turns along the way. Yes, it sounds like what you're saying is it's it's equally as important in design to design the conditions for that stagecraft yes. or statecraft uh, as, as it is to actually be on stage and, and act out that role. 